Well, hi, it's me again, back with another of our fabulous five-minute technique webisodes, fun-filled and fun-packed and easy. So, our first technique we're going to do today involves foil melts. I know you're wondering, what are foil melts? Well, here we go. Foil melts are heat activated and they come in a variety of beautiful colors and yep, you can find them on our website. Start with a piece of cardstock and warm it with your heat gun. Take your foil melts, you can tear them or cut them and lay them in the heated area. This will just help them adhere a little bit better. Then take your heat gun and bring the heat to the foil melt and this will help it permanently adhere to the card. Continue to do this with a variety of colors or all one solid color. That choice is up to you. Now I know many of you own home die cutting systems, AccuCut, Ellison, Sizzix, whatever they may be. And if not, you know your scrapbook store and your rubber stamp store probably has one. So take it and now die cut the center into whatever your favorite shape is. Now we're going to lay it over our favorite photograph or piece of collage work. And what makes this so neat is that now you not only have the card with the cutout, but you also have the die cut pieces which can be used on this project or another project. How's this for a really funky looking card with a collage image? And then I added one of our really great little vintage architecture pieces to the bottom and went over the top of it actually with a Sharpie marker. This is an example of a really wonderful chipboard accordion book that we sell on our website. And this is the cover. These pieces were actually done with beauty, of course. And we die cut the center and use the foil melts. And the little collage image in the center, I put glossy crackle accents over them. It's a little hard to see, but you're going to have to trust me. It looks great. As we open the book, you can see I've used the foil melts again and another piece of our little vintage architecture. And here again, not only have I used the foil melts, but the fusible designs work in the same way. They're heat activated. And some Zamora beads, which I hold down with the Loctite brush on super glue. Here's some of the cutout tags, and I've used a little bit of wire embellishments and some collage images. And lastly, the back, which is again done with foil melts. Hi, you thought you were done with me, huh? Nope, wrong. We've got another really cool technique for you using the Photo Finish Blender. You can't imagine how many people ask me what this thing does. Now I'm gonna show you. To start, you need photocopies. Very important, not inkjet. They have to be toner based. This technique will work with both color copies and black and white copies. So you flip it over. Now remember, this is going to come out in reverse. You take your blending tool, which I'm happy to report is non-toxic. However, it does have a smell, so make sure you're working in a really well ventilated area. And you're going to just rub the back of your photocopy. You'll start to see the design coming through. This photocopy will only be good once. After that, you've got to throw it away. You can't get more than one out of this. And also, don't lift your paper off of your cardstock while you're doing this. Hold it down and then check underneath to be sure it's actually transferring because you will have to go over it a few times. You get this very ethereal quality, very artsy, very collaged and altered looking. And you just keep doing this until you're satisfied. And I notice in my case I have to go over her eyes and nose and lips just a little bit more. 
Okay, that looks pretty nice. And now I've got this lovely transfer. Now I'll do the same thing with the black and white toner photocopy. I can't stress toner enough because some of you are just going to be running to your inkjet printers and be awfully disappointed. And this is coming out really nice as well. And you'll want to experiment with different types of cardstock and different colored cardstock, but light colors, of course. If you'd like to hand tint your pictures, then I take a tiny touch applicator, or you can use a little brush. I dip it in some water and I touch it to um, an ink pad. I'm using the um, Worn Lipstick Distress inks and just going into her lips and giving her just that little bit of color. I love these little tiny touch applicators. They're perfect for this. The Photo Finish Blender will work on a variety of surfaces. Here I've used it on an unfinished wooden box. I even decorated the box using some foil melts. I think we're kind of finished for now, but I do have a little tease for you. The next technique, which is called Instant Art Transfers, is available on my Melt Art DVD. Melt Art Made Easy. It's the first technique I show, and you are going to love it. I'd like you to see how I used it on some cards. Okay, so you're just going to have to buy this DVD now if you want to know how to make these really cool UD pieces. Hope you had a great time today. I know I did.